Alright, what's up, guys? Today, we just moved into West Bridge Hills, I believe this area is called. We just left a good friend's, a friend of ours. And we sold everything, lawn care, etc. And we moved down here because I feel like this would be a better area. More profit, more money to be made. And overall, just a better experience for us. We are looking to just start fresh. We, we're going to keep probably this trailer. Obviously, we can't let go of this kid's here. And then we can't let go of the low rider built truck. I mean, it's not really a low rider. It's stock light, but it looks pretty low. And we still, unfortunately, have this Duramax that... Is not perfectly colored match, but better than what we had. We uh, painted it two different whites. That's original white, and that's the white I did. That's like an off white. So, this is the only thing we have. We bought a house not too far from here. And yeah, we're going to go check it out. We haven't checked it out yet. Apparently, it's pretty nice. Um, my friends have already been there, and they said there's like two foolers there that I, I guess we get to keep. I'm not 100% sure on that part, but. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit the road. Can't wait to hopefully be able to make some money to get rid of this truck. Now, we do have a little bit of money in our pocket to start up a business. But, other than that, we don't really have an ungodly amount to just go ahead and buy a bunch of different things. Now, I, I, I do have a couple things lined up to buy. Um, I know for a fact we're definitely buying an enclosed trailer and a used lawnmower. The enclosed trailer is used, but it's also pretty new. Um, he says it's only two years old, so that's 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 new to me. Um, yeah, so we're going to go check this place out. Apparently it has a nice little shop. It's a little smaller than what we used to have, but we don't really, we're starting over, so we don't really have a whole lot to fill, fill up the shop with, I should say. And it, it has like a little carport area, but so ho I'm just hoping, there looked like there was a place to park some trailers. I just don't know how big that place is. So if anything, we'll just have to get like a little, uh, find like a little storage unit and, you know, go ahead and rent a spot for our trailers. But, uh, one of my buddies was telling me that a lot of people in here need to grass mode. Not this time of year because that's early spring, give or take. So hopefully we can do quite a bit. He said that he knows a couple people. He, uh, he's got a couple jobs lined up for me already, so that's nice. Uh, most of them are just like little tree jobs or like little odds and ends, but hey, I'll take it. It's better than nothing, right? So, I believe this is it right here. Yep, sure is. It's a beautiful two story house with this little pole bar. I believe this is the biggest house and shop and piece of property to, uh, in this. Um, in this town right here. So, I'm just trying to figure out if I want to Alright, we'll shut that off. God, I can't wait. That truck was giving me a little bit of problems when we pulled in. So let's go ahead and undo the straps. And we'll, uh, we'll start getting moved in here. I believe that we should be able to fit this trailer right in front of the shop. So, but I thought there was a place. Oh, yeah, what's that? What's this? Oh, yeah, this would be perfect, perfect plank and all. So, let me go ahead and shove these attachments here. I don't really need them right now and I don't really want them outside because that one is pretty new. The skid steer is a little older obviously so I don't really care care too much about that but still like to take care of our equipment. And yeah we'll have to check out the house and all but I just want to unload it first because I just want to get settled in. And we actually had to go look at that lawnmower and he used used lawnmower and used trailer today. The reason I went with the enclosed is because it's just nice because I knew there wasn't a whole lot of shop space. So I didn't want to have to unload and load our wee and 
power and a long power. Like the old, the old place, we just packed our trailer right in, and we didn't have to worry about it. It was an open trailer, we just packed it right in. So this is different. We're not gonna have enough room to pack our trailers in or whatever. So yeah, and it also just makes makes it nicer if I want to go just buy some coolers or take. These are ours now. The uh, coolers. I wonder if they run. Um, it's got a, it looks like a Suzuki engine on it. These remind me of the Honda Odysseys, which actually I think this is a Honda Odyssey with just some big tires and a Suzuki motor. And the roll cage looks to be pretty, pretty dead on with a Honda Odyssey. What's this over here? Oh. A arm is broken on this, so, but it is a, oh, Yamaha 350, it's got a hinge, a hitch, not a hinge, racks, this is, oh, you can even strap stuff down, that's pretty sick, so we might have to, everything that sold with the property is now mine, so we'll have to see if we can get some legal uh, copies of everything, and I'll go ahead and throw some money at that, maybe get that fixed. So let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and fire this up, I guess, see if it runs. Come on. There we go, yeah. It runs to see another day. So I'm just going to park this over here as I am going to park our built Ford over there. So... Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, God, yeah, we went off a little bit. I don't think there's a drag strip around, but there's supposedly supposed to be one. A lot of street racing goes on, but. Nice American flagpole. Driveway needs to be flattened out a little bit, so we may have to touch that up a little bit. But that's okay. At least everything else seems to be fine. Oh, nope. Hit the wrong button. Sorry about that. And this trailer will go ahead and load up. And put in the backyard. Hopefully it uh it fits. Hopefully it fits in the backyard. So. Oh uh, yeah, it should. Which, honestly, if we're not doing too much uh, equipment, like bigger equipment work where we need this big of a trailer, we might go ahead and possibly uh, sell this. Oh, that's in a hole, so. Yeah, this, uh, this parking pad's not perfect. I would like to. Uh, Get, get everything around here leveled and stuff so when we're cutting grass. I'm not gonna, I was thinking about when I saw this, I was thinking about making a pavement or concrete something. But I, I like the grass look, I don't want to just be this pavement island um, or concrete island. So, I mean, we might pave the driveway to the shop. But other than that, I like the grass. So. Yeah, let's go check out the house. It's got a nice little attached garage, you know, fresher, extra room, I guess, if we needed to park the truck. I don't doubt the truck would fit in there. <sighs> Phew. Sorry, I'm tired from a long six hour drive. Walk in, nice little hallway. And then there's a kitchen. This kitchen's actually pretty freaking big, if I say so myself. Yeah, I believe 
that's pretty much it for the downstairs. I'm gonna take you upstairs just because it's it's our private area, so Ah, shoot, I'm getting a little head cold from that ride. Oh that's pretty nice. The uh the carport has a little light, so that's that makes it real nice. Close these doors. So yeah, we're gonna go check out this uh tractor. That bed it just it just kills me every time looking at it. It's like a grayish off white. And the rest of the, the rest of the truck doesn't look bad, you know. In some spots, the bed doesn't look too terribly bad. But uh, yeah, and it needs a little bit of suspension work in the rear. And, uh, one of the leaf springs is starting to crack. So yeah, I'm trying to either a fix this truck up professionally, get it fixed up, or I would honestly like to find a new. Truck. It doesn't even have to be a 3500 such as this one. This one's a 3500. We just need a diesel. It doesn't matter if it's a 2500. We don't really do too much heavy hauling. And if we do, I know a guy that actually has a semi, but we'd have to get our CDLs for that. So that would kind of be on hold. I've been wanting to get the CDLs for a while, maybe expand the company a little bit. But, you know, we'll see where this new journey takes us to. Uh, I believe this farm, I've been here before just to look at the stuff, and there's only one problem. Everything checked out great, there's only one problem. The, uh, it was an estate sale, the last farmer left a truck in front of the trailer, I guess it was supposed to be repoed, and now it's not. I paid it off and stuff. Whoa! That is a nice truck. What is that, like a gray? Dually. I like the black accents. It's got a toolbox, it's got the strobe light. It's got tow mirrors. Mine does not have tow mirrors. It's got the same exact wheels as mine. I like that a lot. So, only if we can afford that right now. So, yeah, I uh, I had to pay the trailer off and then plus pay with the state one, and it was still cheaper than buying a brand new one. It was like grand cheaper so I just went ahead and did it. It's not new but it's new to us. So the, the uh, state guy was supposed to leave the John Deere here and which he did. He said he was going to move it if he had time but if not he would leave the tractor here for another day. But the trailer I believe, yep, right back here. So let's go ahead and back it up so we get the tractor in, turn on the strobes. So, yeah, I don't have any keys to move the truck. I don't know if it runs or what, but this is a trailer. It's got a see-through rear door, which I kind of like, just to make sure the equipment's back there. It is, I believe, an 18 to 20 foot. I think it's an 18 foot, and then the dovetail makes it a 20 foot. So let's go ahead and snag this tractor. He said the keys would be underneath the seat. So we can go ahead and move that. And then once we get that, we can uh, hook up to the trailer and go ahead and go home, unload it, see what we all purchased. So, and he said don't even worry about scratching up the truck because our truck is already going to the junkyard. So he's going to go try to take it easy. So let's see here. Try not to go trailer. I've never had this problem. Come on, what the heck is going on? It would not start for me. What the heck? Oh, uh, this freaking truck. I hate this thing. Worst purchase of my life. It's finally paid off. That's what I've been waiting on. So yeah, they, uh, they use it for lawn care too. And it actually is kind of sick. Has a fuel tank in the front, but you know, 
also has a quick attach gooseneck, which I don't think they have a gooseneck here, but that would be pretty cool for the uh, like a gooseneck. It's not really a quick attach, it's, it takes about two hours to do, but I mean, if you need a bumper pull, you need a bumper pull. If you need a gooseneck, you need a gooseneck. Everything's worth it. So, the only thing is, we're definitely going to have to either take the lift kit off of this truck, or I'm thinking about maybe stopping in and seeing what that dealership would give us for my truck. They give me about what I paid for it. I think we can do it. I don't really need a payment right now, but I'm about to see how much it is. It could not be a payment. This was a payment because I had a flatbed on it, which I did like the flatbed. It was, was kind of hard for landscaping with gas cans and stuff. So, we're going to turn it here. Oh, that's a tractor dealership. So, we'll uh, see what they can do. Uh, let's go here. So right now our finances are looking like it's been going down, but we have our business loan, so, alright, well, let's see how much they want for that truck. They want 42 grand for that truck, that's not bad at all. It looks like it's set up for towing, which we kind of need. That truck was supposed to be set up for towing, but it's a lifted truck. Can only do so much with a lifted truck. It's got red, hollow lights. Same wheels and tires I got, which was creepy. Pretty much about the same truck. Mine's just a little older and not as nice. So. They said that the guy in there said they would probably end up giving me about 31 for my truck. Just They said they would do more, but the bed needs to be repainted and stuff before they can even consider uh, giving me more. But for 31, I'd probably let it go, honestly. Um, he gave me the keys, so I'm going to unhook my truck, see if it hooks up to this enclosed. Because I really don't want to gooseneck it, because uh, most of my stuff... Uh, half of the use attachment. Yeah, I don't even know if this does. Oh, this does, okay. But I would just like any of my trucks to be able to pull it just in case, like, you know, something awful happens. I'll always have a, uh, a vehicle to pull it. So, what does that get us? Gets us pretty level. I don't know if I'm 100% a fan of that. Wish it was a little lower. But, but we'll go ahead and do the deal. Trucks. Worst case scenario, we'll just have to do the gooseneck uh, attachment. So, which I don't know if we can keep the tank if we do the gooseneck attachment. But right now, it's fine. Um, Maybe in a couple weeks we'll do, we'll see what the gooseneck looks like, get all the measurements. I kind of want it to sit a little flat. So, yeah. We will go ahead and do the trade. So, this baby is now ours, which I was not even planning on getting for the near future. So, let's just go ahead and park this over here. And I buy a truck. Go ahead and access this menu, and we'll sell. And then we also gotta sell the bed. I for forgot about that. Uh, the GMCs have the quick attach bed now. Shoes is nice. I like that pink job. Well, I was not uh, expecting to buy a truck today. Let's go this way. I've never been this way, but I believe takes us back to the house. Strobe light, which is perfect. Um, 
like I said, there in the next next week we'll have a pretty big job for us to do. There is a I believe a farm that has a bunch of scrap vehicles on it. Which it honestly might be the one we were at. I don't know what the farm's called or the address, but we're supposed to get it locked in and sign some paperwork this week, so I'm gonna more but yeah. We gotta move some scrap cars out of there. The only thing is I'm gonna have to rent a bigger tractor before she gets here. I don't think I'm picking up any cars with mine. Mine does the job, but not picking up cars, because that's quite a bit of weight for a little old skid steer. Ooh, turn signals even work on the truck. It's perfect, 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 perfect. We are home. Home alone, baby. So we go ahead and unhook this trailer, which... Should slide in right next to this. Matter of fact, go ahead and pull up. Sorry. Go ahead and pull up and just hit our grass real quick. See what it does. It's a 72 inch of a bagger. I didn't like the bagger necessarily, but you kind of need it when you're, uh. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm really tired. You kind of need it when you're doing jobs. I don't think any of this grass can really be. Yeah. Uh. Huh. We might have to check this thing out. It's not cut. Even though we don't have a bunch of grass, we should cut it. It's very strange. So we'll have to pull that in here. Close that up. Should be a light switch around here. Somewhere. Yeah, uh, I guess that is going to be it for this. We are going to go ahead, look for some used equipment for the low end. Um, would be nice to have this graded out, just for some extra space. Maybe we could park some equipment back here. Well, probably not because we live in town. So, yeah, the only reason I live in or wanted to move into town is so we'd be closer to our work area as for uh, landscapers but I feel like we could also benefit from saving gas as gas is expensive and yeah it just it's not that bad of a setup the only thing is we're really close to neighbors but no nobody's come to me yet to say hi or anything so that's a good thing and we'll go ahead and turn the light off for the carport so I'm gonna load this trailer up back it up and yeah that will be it for this video I gotta go talk to my buddy and we're gonna go see if we can get some jobs lined up he said there is a field in town somewhere that needs to be planted grass because they're not f using it as crop anymore they are using it for a development so that's, that's a plus I guess more yards it's a plus and a negative depending on how you look at it so we'll go ahead and Oops, sorry, wrong button. Unhook that. And we'll park this in the shop. The attached garage. Look 
both ways, turn signal. So that should be this oh this truck actually would fit right in there. Perfectly. About two feet up front and a little bit hanging out, but luckily it has a carport. So that's a plus. But alright, if you guys like the video let me know. Plan on doing episode two very soon and hopefully we get some work done instead of spending money we need to be making money. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.